Number 57, um, the base of our solid, it, solid is the same as exercise 56, which has, uh, it's a triangle with uh, edges at 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 1. But now we have that the cross sections perpendicular to the x-axis are squares. So we're going to have these squares here, um, and as we, as we go along, they're going to be going to be like this, and then basically we're adding up all these squares to make a, a volume here. Um, so let's think about how this integral is going to look like. This integral is going to be, um, it's going to be the sum from, because we're, we're integrating these, these squares, right? We're summing them up um, from zero all the way out to one. It's on the x-axis. So we're integrating from zero to one, and then we're integrating a x dx, because we're summing it up across the x-axis and we're summing up these squares. Um, so now let's think about how we're going to express these squares here, because uh, basically every square, the base, is going to be um, the height of this line that connects, uh, maybe I should do this in a different color, it's going to be the line that connects the point one zero and the point zero one. So when we connect it like this, uh, the base of our square is going to go from zero all the way up to where it touches. So that's going to be our square like this. And then once more, here it touches that, that's going to be our square. And then here it touches that, that's going to be our square, and so on. Um, so what we have here is that the area is going to be um, is going to be the side, which is just the height. So it's going to be f of x f of x and all of this squared, because basically f of x is the, the height of this function, right? It's going to be the distance from here all the way out to this point. Um, so now that we know that it's f of x, we just need an expression for that function, because um, that this line here, it basically is a line, if we're going to draw it this way, where this is our y and x axis, it connects this point here that's um, 0, 1, to this point here that's 1, 0. So if we think about how to express this, well, this is just a straight line. So y is equal to mx plus b. Well, b is the y-intercept. So we already know that b is 1, because that's the point where it's going to intersect our y-axis. So mx plus 1. And then m is x1, um, y1 minus y2. So minus y2 over x1 minus x2, which is equal to, let's see, um, 0 minus 1. 0 minus 1 for y over 1 minus 0, which is equal to minus 1. Therefore, we have that y is equal to minus x plus 1. So because our area is f of x squared, now we're going to have that our area is equal to uh, minus x plus 1 squared, which is x squared minus 2x plus 1. So now that we have um, our area in terms of x, we can just plug this back in. So I'm going to erase this, and then I'm just going to say that this is x squared minus 2x plus 1, and all this uh, times dx. So then when we integrate this, um, this is going to give us, let's see, x cubed over 3 minus x squared, that 2 cancels out, plus x uh, from 0 to 1. So when we plug in our boundaries, we get 1 third minus 1 plus 1, and then uh, if we put in 0, everything goes away, um, and this minus 1 plus 1 cancels out, so in the end we just have 1 third. And that is the volume that we get when we sum up these squares whose base is changing according to this line that connects the y and the x-axis, and that is our volume.